We're playing hooky from work today, trying to catch some big spring pike. That's a big one. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> Crazy. What's going on guys? We're pike fishing today, using big dead baits under tip-ups. Um, this is actually day two, so we filmed yesterday, caught a bunch of nice fish. I hope you guys enjoy. Today's a really beautiful day, warm again, so we hope to have the same kind of same kind of success. <laughs> right, we wanted to put that far off the three feet. Got the tip pups all set, we got the fire going, and now it's a waiting game. Waiting and watching game. Who are you? I'm Jennifer Pizer and I'm Liam's mom. What are you trying to get today? Giant pike. Yeah. Spinning. Spinning really good. Giant. He'll take off again. Did I just lose him? Oh, no. Oh. He'll take off again. Oh, good one. I don't know whether he was wrapped around something, but I couldn't believe how heavy he was at first. He ran into the mud. Nope. Nice one. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. beauty nut. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> On the Cisco. That's a nice one. <sighs> Alright, let's let her go. <laughs> Full of eggs. That's an old girl right there. You called it. You said next fish was going to be a big one. Yep, always. Flop. She needs her tail to give her a push. We've been uh, sitting around the fire all day today. Gordo's just re-rigging this, uh, this tip up, get the trap set again. We know there's big fish here. Uh, we've caught them here several times. Feels pretty good on the big Cisco's. Um, good sharp hooks are really important too for this. We're running all VMCs. Um, if you want to run them too, like you can put red hooks on. I think sometimes that can, that can help a little bit. Hey Gordo? Yeah. Yeah, so see if we can get another one. Big fish always make me stoked. These are the Cisco's I got the other day. Actually went out fishing intentionally for the bait. But, but as you can see, they're a little too big. So we've, uh, we've been cutting them, kind of trimming them down to size. But uh, Cisco's, uh, our podcast, we've got a podcast coming out with the Cisco kid that'll blow your minds. These are the most important food in the lake. And every northern knows where, once they see it, they cannot pass it up. <laughs> we got a flag. Actually, it should be the first one to it. Yeah. There. And watch your hands at the end, there's two huge hooks on it. He was pulling really hard. <laughs> okay. Nice one. Huh? Okay, now unhook them. Nope. <laughs> I fish like I'm being guided. That's all right. Look at what I caught. <laughs> nice one. Put okay. his head first. 
head first. Ooh. Healthy. That's that healthy. <laughs> Grandpa doesn't catch little fish. He's not on it, I don't think. No? Yep, little guy. I guess I do catch little fish. <laughs> Is he little? Ooh, he's a little better than he thought. <laughs> he's, he's not huge, though. He just doesn't like when he gets to the edge of the ice here. I think he's the same size as... Ooh. Unless he doesn't know he's hooked. I think he's a little bigger. Ooh, not bad. Similar. About the same, eh? Yeah. Bad. There we go. You know, they're stocky little guys, but uh, next year when we come back, or the year after that, he's gonna be twice the size. You can tell they're females. You can see all the eggs in their belly here. Everybody, a lot of folks think they've, they're, they've been eating, but that's not eating, that's uh, eggs. and. Probably 90, 95% of the fish that you catch this time of the year are females getting ready for the spawn. So we'll put her there and give her tail a little bit of spot to hit water. <laughs> and she'll wave goodbye to us. Okay. Oh, look at the eggs. Look at no, that as soon as I say it. She's uh, getting ready. They're the first to lay eggs in the spring. They'll lay them even under the ice, just as the ice is starting to retreat. So she's really getting close. What? Feels like a bass. Walleye! Walleye! Oh my god! Woo! Nice! Oh, I was nice. like, what the? That's not a pike. I guess that's the bycatch. Oh my goodness. Big one. Quick strike rigging walleye. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at nice. that fish. That's a really perky walleye on the quick strike rig on the big chunk of Cisco. Beauty. Look at that fin. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Look at that, oh my god. Ah, there you go. Did you get him? Yep. Be careful, there's hooks now hanging out. What? Ooh. Oh, oh, he's big. He's stuck sideways. I lost him at the How big was he? It was a shark. It was a shark? Yeah, that's why he couldn't get through the hole. He oh. was what? It was a shark. I saw him. <laughs> well, you only get a chance. You don't get a fish, so the next tip-up's mine. <laughs> it's not. Oh yeah, it's moving. Does it? Dang it. Ooh. That way. <laughs> Rigging up another chunk of meat. Big old chunk of meat. How's that look, Gordo? Looks good. Got it set back at about 12, 15 feet right here and want to put it about 
three, four feet up off bottom. So I'm just gonna let it down until I hit bottom. Also just pay attention to how far the shaft of your tip up goes in the water. Cause that'll take off like a foot when you go to put it in. He took out a lot of line. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't even. Oh. Can't tell. Ooh, it feels pretty good. I also like to use my front hand kind of as the anchor point and then I strip off it. That way, this is kind of like my shock absorber. Oh. What are we talking here? <laughs> 41. Fished a few days to get one like that. Alrighty. 41 inch big old Gator. Look at that. It's a big old fish. <laughs> Awesome. Just give her tail something to grab on. And she's about to go. Phew! That's awesome. It's a big one. All right, folks. We got a few fish today. Didn't get all of them on camera. When you get them as big as we got them today, it's always it's always a good day, but I think it's time. We're gonna try and pull them and then get back to the truck before dark, but thanks for watching.